All right, chapter four, uh, we start off talking about prime numbers. So what is a prime number? A prime number is a number with exactly two factors, one and itself. What is a factor? A factor is anything that can be multiplied together to get a certain number. So basically what that's saying is a prime number is basically the only thing that will multiply together is the number one and itself. So for example, like um, five or seven, Right? What can you multiply together to get 5? Well, just 1 and 5. What can you multiply together to get 7? Just 7. Um, a composite number is a number with more than two factors. So, like, um, 8 is 1. So, 8, and, 8 times 1 would be an option, but there's also several other options. 2 times 4, so it has more than two numbers that will multiply to get that number. Okay? Well... What about one? Number one is neither. So we just don't really have a label for that one. Is neither. Okay, so there's kind of multiple ways to find the uh, factors of a number below. So first we're just going to list all of these out. So it's just kind of good practice. So I like to start kind of with that number and kind of work towards the middle. So I like to do 35 and 1. Okay, so we can use some tricks here. So obviously all even numbers can be divided by 2. Um, if a number can be divided by 3, here's a little trick. If the number, if the two digits added up together are divisible by 3, then that bigger number is divisible by 3. Well, 3 plus 5 is not divisible by, uh, is 8, which is not divisible by 3. It's also not an even number, so you can start ruling out 2, 4, 8, etc. Okay, so what about three? Well, no, we just said three, no. Four is also a no, because it's not an even number. What about five? Well, there is a five in it, so anything ending in five can be divisible by five. So what? Five times seven. And we've kind of gotten our way to the middle here. So we've kind of whittled it down on each side. Same thing here, 32. So 32 and one. Well, this is even, so 2 and something has to work here. So 2 and um, 16. Okay, what about 3? Three? 3, no, because 3 plus 2 is 5. That does not divide by 3. So 3 is out. What about 4? Well, 4 times 8. 4 times 8. Does that work? Yes, it does. So again, we're going in the middle, so we're kind of getting closer to, so seven, no, you know, only a few kind of sevens are a little bit unique. Um, five, no. Uh, what about six? Uh, the rule about six is you have to use, um, if it's divisible by two and three, that means six is, it can be divisible by six. Well, since three is not in the picture, we can rule out six as well. What about 23? kind of working your way through, working your way through, you realize, well, the only other factor is one. What kind of number is that? That would make that prime. 81, 81 and one. Is it, uh, what about two? No, because it's odd. Three, let's try it. Eight plus one is nine. That is divisible by three. So to figure out kind of what number is divisible or three times what number? Well, it's going to be 20. Seven. Okay, so what about four? Well, no, it's not even five. It doesn't end in a zero or a five. Six. Well, it's not. It has to be two and three for six to work. What about seven? Seven's kind of tricky. You know, only a few numbers really divisible by seven. Um, so not seven. Um, eight. Not an even number, so probably not going to work there. Um, nine. We already said it could be so nine times nine. We don't need to list it twice. Okay, so we're kind of back to the beginning. Okay, so that kind of takes a lot of work. Um, prime factorization is another technique here. Basically, what that is is factoring a whole number into the product of its prime numbers. So we're going to use what's called a factor tree to find all of the prime numbers, the prime factorization of this number. We do that by keep continually splitting it into its factors until it uh, until we don't have any we can't split it anymore 
okay? So for example, I could do three and 10. Anytime I come to a prime number that I can't split anymore, because we're not gonna break it into three and one, we don't split primes, I'm gonna circle it, okay? So 10, I can keep splitting into a two and a five, and now I've reached those prime numbers. So the prime factorization of 30 would be two times three times five. And if I did that, it should equal 30. Two times three is six times five is 30. Okay, so it's a way to look at all the prime, fa the different um, factor, prime factors that go into a number. There's more than one right way to do this. So you could do a couple different ways here. I'm gonna go ahead and do six times eight. So nothing to circle because none of those are prime. Two and three. Okay. Four and two, circle it. Okay, so multiple ways to write this. We have one, two, three, four, two. So I could write two times two times two. Or I could write that using exponents, two to the fourth power, because there's four twos times three. So two ways, if you have repeat numbers, you can use exponents to write those. 75, again, more than one right way to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do 3 and 25. Circle the 3. Circle, circle. My computer won't freeze. So again, you could write it 3 times 5 times 5, or you could write it 3 times five squared, always uh, least to greatest on those. 44, again, multiple ways to do that. There's more than one way to do 75. Four and 11, 11 is prime, and two and two. So I could do two squared times 11. Okay, so that is what it, a, to bring something into its prime factors, the product of its prime factors. Um, that's going to help us later on as we get into some more complicated stuff.